Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning May 27, 2019. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And you can watch this if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. As always, just keep in mind these readings are general. So let's see what's coming up for Capricorn in the week ahead. So this one has come out. So Six of Cups, Justice card, Ace of Wands, The Devil, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, The Magician, the moon. No, oh, two more then. The three of swords and the queen of cups. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. So the king of pentacles, it could be your energy, because this is earth sign energy, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it could be another earth sign you're dealing with. For those of you, this is all about um, maturing something during this time, so bringing something to a culmination, whether that is with your job, with your business. Um, it can talk about financial advancement or financial stability during this time. Good news about money. Um, I also get recovery in terms of finances or even health. Um, this is also a, a focus on real estate, assets, property. I feel like this is budgeting, this is planning, strategizing um, as well. I also feel like you're, you're um, so there's something that is coming to a culmination. There is financial success and you have the opportunity to invest it in something new. And so you're, you're looking at what you want that to be for some of you. All right, so let's look at your cards here. So we have the Six of Cups and the King of Cups. Now this could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. You could be reconnecting with this person. This could be someone from your past. This could be a friend for some of you. This is a time of reconnection. This is a time of reminiscing. This is a time of um, talking about the good old days, all right? Um, it could also be talking about a rekindling, reconciliation with this person. And this is also for some, you might have a child with this person, Six of Cups and the King of Cups. This could be some sort of family vacation happening during this time as well. Because you also have the Ace of Cups with the King of Cups. So it is, for some of you, this is a new pregnancy or the, the birth of a child during this time. With the Justice card and the Ace of Cups, this is meant to be. So whatever is happening that that is this emotional cleanse and emotional new beginning it's it's meant to happen the way it's happening for better or for worse and for those of you this person could be a like a, a past life connection with that six of cups so you may not actually know them in this lifetime because they're a past life connection there's a soul lesson there there's a karmic bond um, and you might be meeting that person during this time because you're ready with the king of pentacles yeah then we have the Ace of Wands and the Magician. So you have, what, three wands here. So it definitely talks about new beginnings. With the Justice card there, and you also have the Devil and the Moon, there's something unknown about this new beginning or undefined that can cause some anxiety. And there's also something ending. There's a, a feeling of loss, a feeling of, of um, unfairness. But with the Justice card, as difficult as it might be, it's again reiterating that things are happening the way they are meant to, for better or for worse, whether they make sense to us now or not, it will be revealed later on with the moon. So take that for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, the Magician and the Ace of Wands, again, this can talk about pregnancy. Quick, unexpected. But see, it's again, it's manifestation. It's divinely guided. Further, this could be a new job, a new home, 
and you're looking at uh, the, the paperwork or you're looking at property, you're looking to move, because this is display, this is um, going to check things out, looking at things closely, looking at things carefully. Again, travel or relocation, looking at relocation abroad with this energy. A lot of dynamism, a lot of passion, creativity, inspiration, okay? And with the magician, you're being told to use it. You're being told to use this energy to, to come up with ideas, to write ideas down, because they will just kind of come to you, all right, without too much effort. And it's important that you write them down because I feel like the ideas, the thoughts, the dreams even you're having with the moon card and these cups cards here during this time are divinely guided to you with the justice card and the magician. And it's almost like your angels, your guides, God, the universe is is literally guiding you, telling you what your next steps are for your highest good. So we have the devil in the moon card. So fear is holding you back. The fear of the unknown is holding you back, making you feel stuck, making you feel powerless. You feel powerless because you don't have all the information. You feel, you feel powerless because you don't know what's happening. You don't know the reason behind something that has happened. And that is, um, it's almost like freezing you in fear because if you don't know what went wrong or what you did, to make things go wrong you're afraid to make another move however with the justice card there once again they're asking you to have faith in what is unknown it will be revealed to you and have faith that it's not that you did something wrong things are just meant to happen this way and again if it doesn't make sense now it will be revealed to you later on the reason will be revealed to you later on because the devil card is also your energy and there's a lot of confusion Okay, there's a lot of confusion about a situation that happened without, out of, just completely out of your control with the Justice card. And it's, it's really thrown you off, okay? And that's why you also have the Three of Swords here. So there may, be a, may have been a loss of job, relationship, something that made you happy, something that you had high hopes for. And you, you don't know why that happened. You don't understand why that happened. And it's causing a lot of fear and anxiety. Okay, with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. But they're, they're, the message here is clear whether it helps or not with the Justice card. No one did anything wrong. It's simply how things were meant to happen at this time, for better or for worse. And it will be revealed later on why. What's interesting is that you have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in your spread. And I'm definitely getting a family vibe here, if I could say that. And you also have the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, with the Ace of Cups in between. So for some of you, this is definitely about either you find the person you're meant to be with, you find your partner, you find your half, other half as it were, and it might be another earth sign or it might be a water sign. There is a strong focus on relationships because, again, um, you're finding the person, the situation that you're meant to be in during this time. So it could be the beginning of a beautiful relationship that can take you to your happily ever after, that can take you to living together, getting married, having children. You have two aces here that are very, very beautiful and very powerful and the magician. So don't let confusion hold you back and don't let the fear of the unknown uh, and the fact that you can't control things, don't let, don't let that hold you back, okay? With the moon card, try to have faith. Know with the magician that you can do whatever you need to. You can handle whatever comes your way. Okay, and trust your instincts. And definitely pay attention to your, um, your intuition and your thoughts, your gut feelings. You're being very, very intensely guided during this time. So they're being, I feel like the messages you're receiving, the signs you're receiving from, again, your angels, your guys, the universe, however you want to call it. Um, it's like they're not subtle, okay? They're not subtle. So really take it in. Really pay attention and use that information. Whatever has broken your heart here with the Three of Swords. Uh, 
and I hate to say it, but the Three of Swords is in between the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, so it might have been something to do with the child and the Six of Cups here. A child or a pregnancy. So my heart goes out to you if that's, that's the situation. I understand that telling you that it's meant to happen is not going to help you. Um, give yourself time to, to mourn. Give yourself time to heal with the Moon card, okay? To recover. There's no need to blame yourself or anyone else once again no one did anything wrong is the message that i'm getting and it will make more sense later on if that helps um but yeah you have really powerful new beginnings If you can take comfort from the fact that you are on the path you are meant to be and, and just try to have faith and, and move forward and use the energy of these new beginnings, past events will also make more sense, if that makes sense, okay? But you can absolutely start a new relationship during this time that is the relationship of, of a lifetime. Or a new job that takes you to takes your career to new heights, it takes you to new places, you know. So so yeah. Let me know how the cards apply, okay, what they're talking about for you. Um, but I do hope you experience this this positive energy and that it takes you to to better places or new heights. Okay, so make the most of this energy. Uh, remember to watch your other signs for more clarity. Um, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.